Hello there and welcome back. So if you've been following along, um, a couple of videos back about a week and a half ago, I did a video where I talked about um, organizing a, a new to-do list that I put in place. Yeah, and had a combination of, you know, three things I'm going to try and do each day, daily chores, a weekly chore, and then all these long-term things I just got to get done. And that's been going really well. Uh, I'm certainly doing more than I used to do. But I'm also finding there's this conflict between the daily chores and all the things that I have to get each, done each day and the sort of three monkeys, three things I am trying to get done today. They, they tend to end up in conflict. And I had been trying to arrange the daily chores in a sort of a logical progression, a logical order where I don't need to think about it. I just go through go through that chore list as, as quickly as possible in a way that makes sense and saves a lot of time. Uh, this morning, I changed a few things around. I mean, and these are completely trivial, minor things. Um, you know, it's just as simple as, you know, I put the water on to boil for the coffee, and while that's happening, I go do my little kettlebell routine. By the time that's done, the water's boiling, I pour the coffee, I get to go off and do the next thing, come back, you know, the coffee's ready. I mean, just all these little things. And this morning in particular, it's gone really well, and the lightning bolt thought is, like, what I'm trying to do is in a sense just groundhog day my first hour hour and a half of the day if you've watched the classic movie groundhog day basically this guy just gets to live the same day over and over and over and over and as he goes through that process of hundreds of repeats of the same day he gets increasingly skilled you know can predict what's happened and by the end, everything is just this finely orchestrated thing where he's, he's here, does the thing, moves to the next thing, does that, moves to the next thing, does that. And it's all sort of, in a sense, sort of mechanical. So what I mean by trying to groundhog day my morning routine is I'm just trying to make it a really smooth, ultra predictable, uh, almost like a dance. And you're just not going to figure this out by sitting down and thinking about it and and writing it out you're, you're not going to figure this out by a to-do list you actually have to go through the process each day of okay i'm going to start with this i'm going to do that and i'm going to do this and i'm going to do this and then you're going to reach some point where you just sort of go ah clunk crap um if i'm going to do the next thing this needs to have been prepared somewhere in the list you know, I need to have, you know, put my clothes out the night before or what is. I need to have something exactly in the fridge that I can just grab to eat. Yeah, that's going to be, you know, the, the ideal breakfast without thinking about it. And, you know, as I'm going through this, the morning is getting smoother and smoother and smoother and smoother. So I think this is something anyone can do. So... Give it a shot. Try it out in your own life. Just start figuring out exactly what your morning routine is and trying to find ways to streamline it, make it more efficient. And and what I'm finding is I have so much more energy and contentment and happiness with myself and what I'm doing by clearing away as many of these chores as possible that is actually making me feel a whole lot better about actually going on to do the three things I'm really meant to get done. So, and because any kind of task completion, anytime you're doing the right thing, and whether that's just simply the right thing in terms of, you know, the thing you think you should do, when you're doing the right thing, you are gaining energy, you're feeling happier, you're feeling content, your self-esteem rises, and it just makes things easier. So you certainly don't have to make your whole day like this. I think that's probably impossible. But you can certainly control your morning routine from when you get up to when you leave the house to go to work or whatever it is. So give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. And I'll talk to you soon.